my friends, it's Miss Tanya, ready to do another art activity with you. So this will be for your June packet. Make sure you have your June packet out. Hopefully you're keeping everything nice and neat inside and you don't lose anything. Today we're going to make a surprise fish. So I hope you're ready and let's get started, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is find this big mouth fish. It's pretty cool, huh? I think so. Totally. So for this project, it's going to be super duper easy. You're just going to need pencil if you want to draw in case you make mistakes and your pack of crayons and of course this paper. Okay. So what you're going to do for this first is you're going to color Mr. Fish over here. Okay. For Mr. Fish, you see that he has some stripes. Okay. So there's some of these long stripes, okay? So these stripes, you're gonna color the same color. So you get to pick whatever you want your fish to look like. I am going to make my fish look like Nemo. So remember Nemo is white, orange, and black, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color, I'm not gonna color his stripes, I'm gonna leave them white, but I'm gonna color the rest of him yellow, okay? so. You go ahead and color while I color, and then I'll get back to you when I am done. And it's really important, my friends, when you color, to just try to stay in the lines, okay? Because it shows that you're working on neatness and that you're working on your um, steady hand, which means it doesn't go all over the place, okay? So what I like to tell my kids when they're coloring is color small. Don't make big coloring motions like this, but color a little bit at a time because you'll still get it colored, but you're coloring small, okay? So that's really, really, really important, okay? And it's also important that you go the same way. If you're coloring from side to side, don't color up and down because it's gonna look messy too. So if you choose to color side to side, try to stay in that direction, okay? Sometimes if you go in circles, it helps to blend it all in, so. Hopefully you are coloring. I'm going to be coloring kind of quickly just to get through this, okay? Okay, so I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job. Just keep it going, okay? Hopefully this is not the first project you're picking. Hopefully it's like the second or third one and I'm hoping that you enjoy them because I had a lot of fun picking them out and putting them all together for you. Okay, so, so far I'm done with that part of my fish. Okay, now I'm going to be working on the next part. Does your fish have to look like mine? Not at all. You can make your fish look like your fish, okay? You can make it blue and yellow like Dory. So if you want a blue fish with yellow stripes, you can totally do that too. You can make it a rainbow fish, whatever you want, because this is your fish. And I always tell you that I love your ideas when you are working. I just picked Nemo because it's quick and easy. And everybody knows who Nemo is, right? Cool. All right, well, I'm getting closer and closer to finishing this guy here. So we are making a surprise fish, okay? So it's pretty easy, just coloring, okay? Almost done here, I've got a little bit more to go, okay? Coloring, coloring, coloring. A little bit more. Alrighty. Okay, so there's my fish. Okay, I named him Nemo because he kind of looks like a Nemo. Maybe I'll even do a little bit of black just to kind of outline his little stripes better. Okay, so hold the phone while I do that. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my black crayon and I'm just outlining where those lines are, where that little white stripe is. I'm just kind of doing a little outline like that so it looks a little darker okay so you can do that 
if you are following along. If you're doing something different, then do something different. I love seeing your creativities and I hope that you're taking a picture of your work and sharing it in the comments below in our Google Classroom. Okay, so now he's got his stripes that are dark. Okay, so this next part is kind of the fun part. This is going to be, do you see Mr. Fish? He's got a big mouth. And then his space right here, this is, what is he going to eat? What would you have him eat? Um, you can have him eat another fish. You can have him eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can have him eat um, a couch, a pineapple, whatever it is you want. Okay. So that's what I'm going to leave it up to you. Okay. So I'm going to draw a couple of little things in here just for fun, but try to stay in this space right here. Don't go too far past his mouth. Okay. So like where this tooth is, kind of stay closer to the inside here. Okay. So whatever you choose to do, you can draw different things if you want. So I think I'm going to draw first. So first I've got my, I, I drew a jellyfish. Now I'm not the best artist, my friends, and that's okay. If you're not either, it's all about doing your best. Okay. Because artwork is supposed to be different. Everyone makes different art and you're going to color these in anyways. Okay. So that's what I would hope that you're doing. I've drawn, I'm drawing a couple of different things and does it have to be what exactly a fish eats? No, it could be something for fun. Okay. Cause that's the whole part of fun assignments is that you just kind of do whatever comes to mind. Okay. And that's what I like to see when my friends are eating, when they're drawing, that's what I like to see what they're doing. Okay. So. Alrighty. Well, here we go. I kind of drew a couple of different things in here. You can see I'm using my eraser because as I'm drawing, I don't really like what I'm drawing. So I'm changing it up. And plus, I'm just trying to pick different things that I can draw because that's what I usually like to do. Okay, so here are some of my drawings. Okay, I drew a jellyfish, I drew a pineapple, I drew a piece of bread, and I drew a cherry. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just to give it a little more color, I'm going to use my crayons and I'm going to color these things. Okay, so let's go ahead and as I color, I want you to color and we'll go from there. Okay. Coloring. I can't wait to see you guys what you guys came up with here. It'd be super duper awesome for me to see what you guys, how creative you guys are. And I'm really curious to see Mr. Hungry Fish. I think that's what I'm going to call him. Surprise Hungry Fish. Because he looks pretty hungry to me. That mouth open so big, you know. And I really like my friends. Some of you guys do the best details on your work. So I would really, really love to see what you guys come up with. Okay. Does it have to be perfect? Not at all. Because what you guys do is totally up to you. Okay. That's what I like to see. What you guys do is up to you. Okay. 
Okay, just about done here. Now, I drew four different things inside of mine, but of course you may choose to draw as many things or as few things as you'd like, okay? So those are the things that I drew, okay? And now here's for the fun surprise. <clears throat> okay, what you're going to do, if you see Mr. Fish has the top line right there, you're going to, if you need some help, you can ask a parent, but you're going to have to fold him backwards. So have the paper, have the back side of the paper facing you and the front facing away. But you're going to be folding as nice and straight as possible. You're going to fold it nicely on that line all the way across. Okay, so see how I fold it? So the teeth are kind of hiding. And then you're just going to kind of fold all the way across like that. So now he looks like this. Okay, and then what you're going to do is I want you to look at your paper now and you're going to fold down so that Mr. Fish is now looking at you. See how it's looking? So you're going to take Mr. Fish, the part that you fold it up, you're going to fold down. And now before you push it, you need to kind of measure and see. You want you don't want the teeth showing, okay? You want it to be kind of flat, okay? So what you're going to do is he's going to kind of sort of, going to kind of sort of look like that where his mouth is closed okay but try to make sure that the stripes are matching see how all that works and then the tail is matching back here everything kind of matches so that's when you're going to come to set it down really quick and just make sure everything kind of lines up okay like I said so the stripes you know like they're kind of the stripes are off a little bit and the tail is not touching just move it a little bit so that all of that stuff is kind of matching now see that so once you have it in a good spot after you measure, okay, you just press it down as best as you can. You know, make it nice and flat. So then it looks like this. And then we can just do like, Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish is hungry. Where's he going to get food today? I don't know what else to sing. But then you can go and show your parents, like, look, I did a really cute fish. It's so awesome. Ah, he's hungry. And then just to fold it back up, and you can show everyone. Look at my little fish, Mr. Hungry Fish. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like Mr. Surprise Fish. Enjoy the video. Show me a picture of yours down in the comments below, okay? And I'd love to see all your awesome artwork. But till next time, I'll see you next.